All right, so the last step of the castle turret is making sure that we cut out these areas on the side because we need to constrain them to the castle wall. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start a new sketch on the bottom of this. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm just holding down shift and the scroll button and orbiting it. Use that as well. I'll click here and I'm going to zoom in so you can see this better. What I'm dealing with is this circle. Um, make sure that you're not, don't pay attention to this one because that's actually part of the top of the um, turret. So put this in the middle and use the line. First, I'm going to go from the center and so it's measuring, and you have to be careful of this, it's measuring the distance from <clears throat> uh, the x-axis, so right here. Uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. It's measuring from the y-axis right here. So if you're measuring from the y, and you can see where that dotted line is drawing from, um, then we want to go out to 70 degrees and we want it to be five inches, and that will put it right on the uh, circle. So I'm going to click. Now, if for some reason you did this and it was measuring from here, then this would be 20 degrees because going from here to there would be 90. Um, doing line again, and we're going to do the same thing here. So this one's interesting because still it's measuring from the top of the y-axis there. And so if that's 90, um, and we just want that to be 20 degrees away from the x-axis, then this should be 90, 100, 110. So I'm going to change this to, well, it snaps into place for me because it knows See a little dotted line that is lining up with my other point and it sticks at 110 at five inches. So yes, I do want that escape. And then I'm going to, from this point, draw a straight line, which is 1.5 degrees, sorry, not degrees, inches. And I will do the same on the other side. Make sure that it's, I'll zoom in, it has to be coming from that point. So from this point to 1.5, see it sticks, and then all I have to do is make a line connecting those, escape. So now what I can do is trim. So I'm gonna trim that, that, and it's saying that I have constraints there, so I'm gonna get rid of those, get rid of that. that and I should be able to trim now yep so I have this box here um, which I will extrude but if we're going to create a situation where we have the wall um, connected to the turret then it needs to have two sides where it can connect, right? It has to create a 90 degree angle where the walls can meet the turret. So I also have to make one, I can make it up here, I could make it over here. I can't make it on the opposite side because that's not a 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna do it again at the top here. So line. Um, where's it measuring from? So it's measuring from the y-axis again. So this just has to be 20 degrees. It already says 5.0. So 20. And snaps into place. Draw a line across. I just do that for reference. It's not completely necessary, but it just helps um, this is 
five, the key is like those lines have to be straight. Otherwise, um, the wall won't fit in there because the wall um, has straight lines. Boom, boom. So get rid of these dimension lines and get rid of that center point or center line. Trim. So I'm going to trim that, that, that. <clears throat> okay, so now I have um, where I'm going to be extruding through this object, so I'm going to hit finish sketch, and I'm going to click extrude, I'm going to click both of these, so we've done this before, so hold down shift, so now we have both, I'm going to go the opposite direction, and the height of the wall is 25 inches at its tallest point. Um, <clears throat> so we want to make this 25. And if I look before I extrude, you can see that this is going to work out. Like I could stick a wall here and then stick a wall there. And if you imagine, you will start making this box around these turrets. So I'm going to click OK. I like that. And then you can make this whatever material or um, color you want. <clears throat> Could be a material. Uh, could be a color. So it's right now it's galvanized steel. That is green. It's kind of wild looking. So. Uh, I am definitely going to hit save, and then you're, the next thing you're going to do is start connecting the walls to your turrets. So I am going to click save just again, just to make sure. And um, next one, next video will be about assembling the castle.